So we're going to look at medians in particular, not so much with altitudes. Um, a median goes from a vertex to the midpoint on the opposite side. Goes from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. That's the median. So down here, that's the midpoint, which means that line B, it's not labeled, but could call it D. AD is a median there. Goes from the vertex to the midpoint. There's a pretty interesting thing that happens if you were to draw all three medians. They all intersect at one point. It doesn't, it's not guaranteed. It wouldn't have to happen. It just does with triangles. So all their medians. So if you draw, find all their midpoints and then draw all the medians from the vertex to the midpoint, they will intersect. Now just remember, you, you can draw three lines that don't intersect at one point. So it's, it is special that lines at all three point or all three lines do intersect at one point. It doesn't have to happen that way. It's kind of uh, it's kind of magic. So. Um, that point, since it's something special happening there, we gave it a special name. It's called the centroid. Centroid is also the um, center of mass. It's the balancing point. If that was like a triangle made out of wood or whatever, if you found the centroid, you could actually balance it from that point. So the centroid is the center of mass or the balancing point, just as a... Uh, future reference in case you ever have to do anything with that. So there's a relationship with the centroid though. It is all the medians where they intersect, but the centroid also is going to be two thirds of the way across the triangle. So from the vertex to the centroid, that's two thirds of the entire length. So from A to P, which is the centroid, that segment is two-thirds of that entire length of AX. Same thing with B to P. That segment from the vertex to the centroid is two-thirds the entire length. And CP, same thing. From the vertex to the centroid, it's two-thirds of the entire length. Which means the other side will be one-third if you have to figure that out. So if you know how long the entire segment is, you know where the centroid is. So let's use that. AF is 9, so that's the entire length. The entire length is 9, A to F, which means A to G, which just goes to the centroid, that's 2 thirds of that length, so 2 thirds of 9. So when you're solving that out, you can say it's 9 over 1 if you want, and then do 2 times 9, 3 times 1. 18 over 3, which is 6. So AG has a length of 6. Now we're also told that CE is 7.2. So the entire length is 7.2. GE, it's not the two-thirds length, it's the smaller side, it's the one-third. So GE is one-third of that 7.2. 7.2 divided by 3 is 2.4. Vertex L is 8 units from the centroid. Find the length of the median. So you could draw a triangle, get a little sketch going. Triangle L, M, N.
and it says that the um, has one point endpoint of L. So the vertex is eight units from the centroid, so the centroid is somewhere around here. We're going to draw the median in there, and the centroid will be in there somewhere. It's eight units from the centroid, so that upper piece of this median is eight. Which is the two thirds segment, not the one third segment, but the two thirds segment. So eight is two thirds of the entire length. Um, we'll call that call that D there or something of L D. Two thirds of the entire length L to D. So we need to find out, that's what we're trying to find, is how long is that segment, LD. So we've got our little equation here. If you don't want to put two letters, you can just do an X and have it be one letter. It's two-thirds of X. So solving for X, we would multiply by three and divide by two. You multiply by the reciprocal to solve that. So you multiply to the top. 8 times 3 is 24, divided by 2, 24 divided by 2 is 12. So the entire median's got a length of 12. So you can draw another triangle here for S, T, U. Because let SW be the median, so S, this must be point W down here for the midpoint. And it says SW has a length of 18. Find SP and PW, where P is going to be the centroid. So SP is the two-thirds length, and then PW would be the one-third. So SP is two thirds of eighteen, which is eighteen times two is thirty six. Thirty six divided by three is twelve. So SP is twelve. And then PW, that's the one third, the smaller piece. One third of 18, that's 18 divided by 3, which is 6. So SP is 12, PW is 6. And then together, 12 and 6 equals 18. That makes sense. But it adds up to be the total length. The median AD is perpendicular to BC. If AD is 21 feet, describe the position of the centroid of the triangle. So, the position of the centroid, it would be here two-thirds of the way from A down to D. So, if you were to find that, we can call it P for the centroid. From A to P, that's two-thirds of that entire length, which is 21. Forty-two divided by three, that's fourteen. So you could say that it is... 14 feet below, below point A. Or, if that's got a length of 14, that means the other side's got a length of 7. So you could also say that it's 7 feet above point D. Either one of those would make sense. So if you have all three coordinates of your 
uh, triangle in the coordinate grid, there's a formula for the centroid. X1 plus X2 plus X3 all divided by 3. It's kind of like midpoint. You add them up, divide by how many there were. Same thing with the Ys. You add up all the Ys and divide by 3. So we've got all these coordinates. We add up, if we're trying to find the centroid, you add up all your Xs. 0 plus 6 plus 3. And then you divide by 3. Do the same thing with your y's, 8 plus 4 plus 0, and you divide by 3. So that's 9 over 3, which is 3, and 12 over 3, which is 4. So the centroid is at 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. Right there is your centroid. We we'll use that formula a couple more times here. You add up the x's, so negative 1 plus 9 plus 4 divided by 3. Do the same thing with the y's, so 7 plus 5 plus 3 divided by 3. Work that out, and that's your centroid. So that's 8 plus 4 is 12 over 3. 12 plus 3 is 15 over 3. So you simplify that, and you get 4, 5. Same thing for this next one. Add up the x's, so negative 6 plus 0 plus 6, divide by 3. 0 plus 12 plus 0, divide by 3. So we get 0 over 3, and 12 over 3. Zero divided by three is zero. Twelve divided by three is four. The zero comma four is the central.